Main man, main man here. Y'all know how I get down. We talking boxing, man. So we know that we got an upcoming fight between Jeff Horn and Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford, formerly the undisputed champion down at the 140-pound division. He now campaigns at 147. And we know we have this fight on the horizon. Now, Jeff Horn, who's the WBO 147-pound champion, took that title off of none other than Manny Pacquiao. By defeating Manny Pacquiao in the upset, he gained a world title. And now he's scheduled to go up against Terrence Crawford, the fighter who Manny Pacquiao did not want to fight. So... The question is starting to emerge. If Jeff Horn gets through Terrence Crawford, will he be considered pound for pound? And I can even narrow it down a little more closer. Will he be considered top five pound for pound? And the argument, ladies and gentlemen, is definitely there. You know, I mean, it all depends on who you have in your top five pound for pound. And we all know pound for pound lists are very subjective. You know, so. It, it depends on whom you rate as your top five pound for pound on whether or not you can place Jeff Horn in there. Now, if you got guys like the Shore dudes, like, I don't know, I say uh, Triple G, Canelo, Vasil Lomachenko, right? Those are your, your three. And then the arguments for Keith Thurman um, and, of course, Terrence Crawford. Those are the arguments, probably the remaining two surefire guys, in my opinion. Now, the question is, if Jeff Horn defeats Terrence Crawford, that would drop him from the top five. So there's an open vacant spot. And Keith Thurman, compared to what Jeff Horn has done at welterweight, it would be very close because Keith Thurman has victories over uh, Danny Garcia and Showtime Sean Porter. And Jeff Horn would have victories over Manny Pacquiao and Terrence Crawford. So it would be very close between those two who can remain in that top five. But the thing is, is that, you know, what Jeff Horn did, what Jeff Horn is talking about doing with Terrence Crawford, Terrence Crawford has yet to prove himself at welterweight. He, he was a dynamic fighter at the lower weights. But he has yet to have a fight at welterweight. So do we accredit Jeff Horn with the same level of credit that we would have given Keith Thurman, who has beaten surefire welterweights, as for Jeff Horn to be facing Terrence Crawford coming up for 140? Now, given that Terrence Crawford position is number one pound for pound or number two by most lists, I'd say the victory over Terrence Crawford holds more weight for Jeff Horn than, say, the victories for Keith Thurman over Danny Garcia and Showtime Sean Porter. Now, I do realize that those were the number, the next two highest rated fighters in his division, far as for Keith Thurman. I understand that. And those were two good fighters. Danny Garcia was a very dynamic fighter at 140, but he was a, and he was a world champion at welterweight. Showtime Sean Porter, former world champion at welterweight. But in Jeff Horn's case, he would have defeated a legend, a fighter whom was is still placed in the top 10 of pound for pound in Manny Pacquiao. And he would have defeated Terrence Crawford, former undisputed champion, current number one or number two pound for pound. I think those two victories, ladies and gentlemen, are strong enough for Jeff Horn to, to, to make an argument for top five. I'm sorry, because to me, those two victories are outdone what Keith Thurman would have done and those two victories, given that it would have been a victory over Terrence Crawford, it would have lowered his statue in the top five as well. So yes, I think after evaluating it from that standpoint, and I hope I didn't confuse anybody, but evaluating it from that standpoint, I'd say Jeff Horn would be top five pound for pound if he defeats Terrence Bud Crawford. Absolutely. Hands down. The same Jeff Horn, that a lot of welterweights thought was a sweet fighter. You know, after his victory over Manny Pacquiao, every welterweight called him out. Every welterweight wanted him. Danny Garcia wanted him. Keith Thurman even said his name. You know, a lot of fighters wanted Jeff Horn because they thought and they still think maybe that he's a, that he's sweet, which I don't know what they're looking at. Because when Jeff Horn gets in the ring, that dude bangs. He is a banger. He throws his weight around very good. 
And that is something that Terrence Crawford is going to have to expect going into their fight. Given that Terrence Buck Crawford is new to the welterweight division, it's going to be already planned by his opposition to come in much bigger than him. They don't know how he will handle the weight or the power at that weight. So this is something that Jeff Horn is certainly going to test. But I will say if Terrence Crawford passes this test with flying colors, then the other welterweights is going to have a lot of worry on their minds because it, it will clearly show that Terrence Crawford can take the power at this particular weight class and he can take that weight. So that is the last remaining question when it comes to Terrence Crawford. But that is something that a fighter like Jeff Horn is definitely going to provide an answer to. This victory is not a sure victory for Terrence Crawford, ladies and gentlemen. Not at all. Now, if Terrence Crawford goes on there and becomes victorious in this fight, of course, Terrence Crawford remains the number one or whoever lists number two pound for pound fighter. He remains and keeps basically his status. But Jeff Horn, if he wins, will gain new status. So that's what makes this fight very, very intriguing, ladies and gentlemen. If you are a boxing fan, I will not miss this fight. A lot of implications for both men after this particular fight is over. So let's see how this thing go. But to answer the question, in my opinion, if Jeff Horn gets through Terrence Crawford, top five pound for pound. Let's see how y'all feel about it. Put it in the comment section. So to the next video, Main Man Made Man. Don't forget to subscribe to Twitter, Made Man 511 Facebook, Main Man Made Man Boxing Forum, Google Plus, Main Man Made Man. You know, you know, I'm sure that Terrence Crawford will not come into this fight doing the same mistake that Manny Pacquiao has made, and that is becoming not prepared, not studying your opponent. That is something that I do not see Terrence Crawford and his trainer uh, doing. I just don't see it happening one bit uh, uh, at all. Freddie Roach, I don't know how much control or training uh, influence that he still has over Manny Pacquiao now, but clearly in Terrence Crawford's corner, I don't see that playing out that way. They're going to approach this fight serious, focused, and know exactly what they're up against. So to the next video, peace out.